Good morning, it's Monday and you'll not be able to see the camera but it is actually snowing and we're away out for a walk. We're actually away to a baby girl. She's crying. But she's, you've been moving. We're fine. Uh, yeah, so we're going to a baby group. It's called Bairns, Leather and a Brew. So I'll meet up with some mums. And I think it's messy play today, so. She's got an old dress on. <laughs> That's got marks on it, I think, out. So it doesn't matter what happens, but yeah. Uh, I've, I've tried to, I've been a few times and I've tried to walk every time but I've never been ready in time to go, it's half past ten. So it's ten o'clock, we were ready, so we're in the pram, but she's not very happy about being in the pram for some reason. But she's definitely warm enough that snow is going in my face. Because she's got a lovely fluffy snowy penguin suit. So anyway, hopefully it doesn't get much worse. Just turned out to be such a nice day, believe it or not. Oh look, really bright, you probably can't see a thing. Uh, there we are. Yeah, it's turned out to be lovely outside. So, we had a nice time at the baby group and Scarlett has made our first piece of art. It's lovely, so it's up with the bread bin at the moment. And I came home to make chicken soup, which I've never made before. Which is, here it is, boiling away. So, let that to cook and then add more bits and pieces to it. And then just heading it to the gym. Uh, and then finish the soup and make tea and that's probably pretty much Monday. Not an exciting one, but get Monday out of the way. So my soup is finished and it looks amazing. I'm so, I've not even tried it yet. I'm so excited to try it. Um, here it is. So this is Slim and World's uh, chicken broth. So it's got chicken, loads of veg, uh, and pearl barley, and I love pearl barley. So that's pretty, uh, looks pretty good. Can't wait to try it. I've actually made macaroni as well, Slim and World, of course. Mm, I'm not very optimistic about it, but we'll see what's like. I'll show you. Uh, I didn't show you how to make it today. I'm going to do that later in the week. Make some curry with chickpeas in it. Uh, also, it's about tea time. But Jamie, Jamie normally comes home about half past six, so that's ten past. The clock's five minutes. Fa fast, fast. Yes, no, it's fast. Uh, but it's so much lighter. You probably won't see it the blinds as usual when I try and show you. Ooh. But there's still some light, so that's good. I'm looking forward to it being not as cold and lighter nights, and maybe try and go for walks and stuff. But then I suppose by the time I have tea, then it's wee one's bedtime. But yeah, so I've pretty much spent today since I got home from being splitter and a brew. I think I've got that in the right order. Uh, the baby class thing. Um, all I've basically done is cook. Started the soup, went to the gym, came back, finished the soup, made the macaroni. I'm such an idiot. Like, seriously, such an idiot. It's half past five. I thought it was half past six. I was never ahead of myself. I was like, Jimmy's just about to come home. Tea's all ready. Put the macaroni in the oven. So I've just turned off. <laughs> 
and I'll put it on again and just hopefully heat it through and hopefully it tastes fine but <sighs> another hour to wait till my dinner it's only six o'clock <sighs> so I've got half an hour so I have a wee cup not a bowl so it's not a full portion it's, it's uh, free anyway so I've soup just to keep me going oh it's delicious it was so good. I forgot to show you the end result of macaroni and cheese. Well, it's here. And there's um, lunch, lunches for tomorrow if Jimmy wants it. I'm not sure what his thoughts are. I've actually had a wee bit and it's quite nice. It's all right. I wouldn't rush back to make it again. It's a lot of effort for, I think, the end result. But there's hardly any cheese in it. But it's a big portion I've eaten up here. But there's Jimmy's full portion. Morning! It's Tuesday. And, well, I was going to go for coffee, but my friend's cancelled. So that's fine. I'm just having breakfast and I think we're just going to chill because it's pretty grey out. Just one of these murky, kind of wet, kind of grey sort of days. So, but I have my breakfast. yesterday a few exciting deliveries happened well one was exciting we'll say that anyway uh, and I'll show you passports we are definitely going to Florida and Spain as well but <laughs> more importantly Florida this is Scarlett's first passport it is so cute and I also had to renew mine as well typical but that's fine two Hers last for five years, even though she's, when did I get her photo taken? She was nine weeks old in the photo, nine weeks. Obviously, we need to do our estas, but I'm going to do that probably the end of the month when I get paid. Um, but for her passport, somebody, my friend's mum actually, gave Scarlett when she was born something in this box. So it's a passport cover. Yeah, and it says my first passport with a picture of Dumbo. So there we are. And also a luggage tag. You can fly. You can fly, Dumbo. I don't know how the song goes, I just made that. So I think first things first, make sure it's the right one. That's mine. I'm not going to show you the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlett says she looks so chubby because as I say she was lying on the floor when the man took the photo so because she can't sit up and that. I was going to bend the passport because they're absolutely pristine which don't be like that for long and absolutely solid the back of them so there we have it Ready for action. Let me see your picture. Look how cute is she? We chubs. But yeah, just got all dark. There we are, that's better. So yeah, that came yesterday and also Oh that came yesterday. Oh the bag was in the Disney store off Donald Duck. So if you watched last week's vlog see that I accidentally ordered two but I was told one was cancelled eh, Donald Duck outfits so that's that one which I will have to sort out just now and send it back so I'll need to go to the post office tomorrow which is a bit of a pain but hey ho that's where we're at tomorrow I'm actually going to work eh, obviously I'm on maternity leave which I don't go back to work properly until November but I get or everyone gets up to 10 kit days keeping in touch so tomorrow's going to be the first one because it's in service up here it was half term I don't know if it's half term anywhere else but so it's in service so the teachers and the staff are working tomorrow Wednesday and then the kids are off Thursday Friday so I'm as well working when it's in service so well, hopefully it'll be a quick day and Scarlett's going to her granny's for that's probably the longest she would have been there but she'll be absolutely fine she'll probably enjoy a wee change <laughs> and hopefully she'll be good for my mum 
Hello, it's Thursday again, which means I've just been to Slumming World and I've lost three pounds this week, which is brilliant. I'm so chuffed. And that brings me to a total of one stone, three and a half pounds. So really, really chuffed. My mum also lost a pound, so she was, uh, well, she didn't have a great week, so by that she was quite happy with a pound off. And she got her stone award, so that's her lost one stone. And also, my friends, well, there's a few of us doing it, uh, me, my mum, two, two of my friends and some other folk. But um, Kate never went this week, and she had stuff on, and Laura lost four pounds. So she she's doing amazing. She's lost one stone, three, in four weeks. Five weeks? Four weeks. So she she's just blitzing it. <laughs> And I'm just thinking about today. Today's a pretty chill day. Uh, gym later, as I missed it yesterday because I was working, which was fine to go on in service day. So it was it was fine. It was nice to catch up with people and see what's going on in the school and kind of keeping up to date with that. Tonight uh, I'm going to make curry for tea, and I can't remember what it was called. Hopefully I'll be able to find the recipe. <laughs> But I think it's got spinach in it and chickpeas and beef. So I'll certainly put it on the shopping list anyway and I bought beef. So that is tea tonight. So I'll show you that. Jamie's away tonight. He went and got the train this morning down to Sheffield just for work. I think that takes maybe four hours, four and a half hours. That was a direct train from where we stay. Uh, so but just me and Scarlett tonight. She's having a wee nap just now. So I'll be doing baths and all that. So a pretty chill day, all in all. Doing odds and sods in the house and just, you know, adulting. adulting. So I've had two deliveries today. Uh, I'm not open to one of them yet, so I'm going to open that one first. Is, this isn't the exciting one. Well, to be honest, neither of them are that exciting. One's Disney and this one's not. This is... It's big! I got a new phone, so this is a phone cover. So I just bought a cheap one because I really want to buy one in Disney and I'll go. Hopefully. I don't know, I've not really looked, but the ones in the parks are really nice. So I just bought a skinny dip one. It says for use with iPhone 6, 6S or 7. I've got an iPhone 8. But I did pick iPhone 8, so we'll see if it fits. Uh, and it's just got stars in it, and it was one in the sale to be honest, but you see it shining. Woo -woo -woo. I think it was about eight pounds a tenner. I'm going to deliver it. To earlier, and it's Disney, Disney baby. Aiden and Anis, Anis. Don't know how you say it, but it's a rest of cats, and these are muslins. But they're actually really big ones. Which I think my cousin recommended them, but. They're more for when we go on holiday so I can just cover the pram or mop up sick because I do constantly. I'm going to open up and have a look at one. See if I can give you a wee look. They are so cute, the whole collection. They're quite expensive, but I think they'll just be really useful. Look at the pattern. Is that the right way? It's Marie! It's very cute. So there's a Marie. Actually, I don't know this one's name, I'll need to find out. So, ooh la la! La France! And the last one is Marie again with some French buildings. So, yeah, very cute. I'll see the size of them. Oh, they're not actually as big as I thought. But. It's five o'clock, so it's time to make tea. Uh, I'm going to make beef chana sag. In other words, beef curry with chickpeas and spinach. So let's get cooking.
quickly now. I am frying, frying in five minutes, in, and then I will add the rest of my ingredients. So that's like the garlic and the, I was going to say onions, but they're already in. The tomatoes, the spices. So I've cooked the onions for five minutes, and now I'm just going to add quite a lot of the ingredients, most of them. Just make sure the onions are done. Um, so I'm going to add the fresh tomatoes, the ginger, the garlic, stock cube, some water, some spices, tomato puree and the chickpeas which I drained. So I'm just going to add them all in just now and then that just cooks for 15 minutes. <music> The next job is an easy one, just browning off the beef. It does say in the recipe to use steak, but I find that's an awful waste in a curry because it'll be cooked all the way through. I love a nice, juicy, rare steak, so which was awful when I was pregnant because I just didn't have steak for nine months. <laughs> Basically this is going in here. So that's the coriander and the spinach. I did the beef as well, I forgot to say. And that just gets five minutes and then it should be ready. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I am rubbish at making rice. Sometimes sometimes it'll work perfectly and it's fine. And it's just rice. But other times it goes that really gloopy, yucky way. Like I made it rice last night for Jamie and it was like, oh, felt bad. Whereas I actually I think tonight's is much better. It looks kind of okay at the moment, so fingers crossed. But is it just me? It's actually turned out just normal rice, so. I did something right tonight, don't know what, but there we are. So that's it, that's the finished dish. Uh, what I would say though is that's two portions, so we'll have that for tea tomorrow. And that's a single portion I will freeze. It's not huge for four portions. I see that's more kind of three and I wish I just did three. But that's fine, I'll eat it just now and I'll let you know how it is, but I'm sure it'll be very tasty. That curry, oh it was absolutely delicious and 100% I'll make it again. And I really hope Jimmy likes it too. And thankfully, those chickpeas have been in my cupboard for like forever. And I don't know, I'm the kind of person that just, I like to use stuff up before I buy more stuff and things like that, so it was good to get rid of them. And they were still in date, I couldn't believe it. They still had another year, 2019 at some point. Anyway, the wee ones are way to bed, so I should be a bit quieter. Uh, and I'm just running up the stairs. But the bath is running and hopefully she won't wake up again. She usually wakes up after half an hour for five minutes. Quite cuddle and she goes back to sleep, but hopefully not that's why. As soon as she was sleeping, I put the bath on. Because <laughs> I have to I bath her myself. Which is fine, because actually Jimmy normally does it, so it was fine, it was nice. She was all giggly, so it was cute. We're in the car and it's Saturday, it's the weekend. We are actually at the petrol station. Jimmy's way in getting our lunch for later, which is just a subway salad. I'm having tuna. And I normally have the Southwest sauce, but it's like four and a half cents. I'm allowed 15 cents a day. So I'm not having that. Sweet onions, one and a half, that's the lowest. So I'll have that and it'll be fine. It'll be very tasty. So that's what we're doing, but we're heading off to the Kelpies, which I've, none of us have been to actually, which is quite hard to believe. But we've driven past them, so it'd be quite good to see them and have a wee explore. And
Lovely than a pram. <laughs> yes. Not a pram job. We've got the carrier with us. This is very impressive. I don't know if you quite get it in the camera. It's huge. So this is part of Historic Scotland. We pay a monthly subscription. How much is it a month, Jerry? Seven quid. Seven pounds a month for each. Both. Oh, for both of oh, us. Uh, and that was well, six pounds to get in here today. So we've kind of had our money's worth today for the month. What's in here? Big room. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look how high it goes up. It's very impressive. Nice yeah, it's lovely. That's bit onto the main square. Would you call that a square? Back to where the fountain was. Must be some sort of fireplace. That way, left or right? Left. So many nooks and crannies. Oh, look at this view. This is a bit spooky. Oh, look at this. It's like a internal corridor. Could we remember the scaffolding? Ah, uh, okay. You can't see down to the square because they're scaffolding up, but oh, you can see the fountain a wee bit. This is back to one of the Towers, there seems to be these stairs in every corner. <laughs> Keep going, that's fun. Oh, you can look down, we were just in there. I forgot to put my Apple Watch on. I'll not know how many steps. I think you can check on your phone now. Right, this way then, back along. This is like, I'm gonna say roof terrace, but that's probably not the best way to explain it. If you look down there, there's a fountain. And that's the scaffolding we looked through earlier. We just keep finding more and more bits. Yeah. She's yeah, a happy, happy girl. She awake? Yeah.
how to get up there. I'm all the way down to go all the way up. So this plan should work. I think this is the first one we came up. <laughs> and then we just went lots of different ways. After all that, <laughs> I'll go get shiny. <sighs> I've spotted a trip backpack. I've just parked up to go to the Kelpies, but we're going to have lunch first because it's coming up for one o'clock. Uh, and so we're eating our salads. So it's Jamie's and mine. All set, all fed, all ready to go. I will say about our Subway lunch though, it was tiny. There was hardly any lettuce and hardly any meat, so I wasn't overly impressed. But anyway, <coughs> fed, watered, and we're going to go and see the Kelpies now. back in the car and it is so cold out there. Jimmy made a very good point to say why do we not have hats and scarves and gloves on? I have no idea why. Oh, I'm freezing. <sighs> I get the car <laughs> and warm up so that's. The Kelpies were amazing. I would highly recommend it if you're in the area or looking for somewhere to go. I would definitely go for the day. Lovely sunshine and also Along the other direction, there's a really cool looking play park. So if you've got older kids, perfect for them to run about. So definitely a thing you should put on your to-do list. So we have decided to tackle this room because there was just stuff in it. Stuff we don't need. Uh, so we've already done over here. You probably not know it's much difference, but I think it does look less cluttered. Oh, onto the drawers and we're doing it bad, we're getting there, but oh, cables. I'm figuring out what they're for. Really? You know, you kind of have to make a mess to tidy up. This is kind of where we're at. So this is stuff to keep. 
Charity shop. Rubbish. Jimmy with the chair. Took the high chair downstairs. And yeah, so, and the cat. Saying goodbye to its bed that it doesn't use. That's all. Tonight, my mum and dad are babysitting. They're just coming up. And then it's looked at my watch. It's not, I'm like, I don't even have my watch on. <laughs> but they're coming up soon. Uh, and we're going out. We got a voucher for Christmas for the Chinese restaurant. So, my mum and dad are coming up. One of them was going to drive us down, drop us off. We'll have a tea, maybe go for a drink after. And then get a lift back. So we've got taxis because they're both here anyway. And they're going to bath and put to bed for the first time, which is nice. So, yeah, that's our Saturday night. I've looked into the Chinese and the best thing to have is beef and black bean. I don't know if I've said this already, but if I have, I'll delete it or you'll get it again. Uh, which is eight cents and boiled rice is free, so that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have some wine now because I've not had, I've had wine once in the last six weeks. And that's the only alcohol I've had, which has really helped my weight loss journey. So, I'm going to have some wine tonight, it's a treat. Not every time I drink, I'm going to drink wine, but I really fancy some wine, and I know. But no sins yesterday, no sins the day before, so hopefully that'll help, but we'll see. Saturday night ready. Um, I hardly have any going out clothes, like none. Uh, mainly because I was pregnant. <laughs> and I bought this for Christmas, and that's about uh, it. And I'm not buying any more clothes until I've lost more weight, so this will have to do. But I'm quite happy, so yeah. Chinese, here we come. A little Graham Norton before the babysitters arrive. Oh, I've been ready early. I'm quite impressed. Mm. Chicken wings. Cheers. What have you got? Emperor chicken. And I've got black bean beef fillet. Oh, steamy. Bon it's Sunday night again. Here we are. So, going back to yesterday or last night, anyway, my mum and dad came up and babysat, and me and Jimmy went out. So, that was the first time we'd gone out at night time and together without the wee one. And that, that was fine. She was really good for my mum and went down to sleep, and that was her. And she didn't wake up till half past seven this morning, so that was great. Me and Jimmy, we went to the Chinese, we had a voucher for Christmas, so that was a perfect opportunity to use it. Uh, sort of around Valentine's Day, even though once I got there, Jim was like, Oh, did you book it because it was Valentine's Day during the week? I was like, Yeah, that was the point. But uh, yeah, so we went for a drink beforehand, just one, and then we went for our dinner, then we went for another drink, and then because mum and dad were here anyway, we got a lift there and back, so free taxis, it was great. And we were home by 10 o'clock. Which was fine until we decided to have another drink when we got home, had some wine, and not that I was hungover today, but I was feeling tired, put it that way. Just which obviously I've not felt like at all in like a year, over a year, with having the wee one. So uh, but anyway just now I'm just having a cup of tea and my yogurt, which I normally have. My routine at night, <laughs> my supper, as some people would call it. And then I'm doing some editing my this week's vlog and hopefully that'll be up tomorrow and that'll be me and the LS night. So we'll see you on the other side. See you next week.